Well, this next question is near and dear to my heart from Lori. Lori says, my grandparents used to grow gagutza. That's G-A-G-O-O-T-Z-A is how she spelled it. I believe there's no A. It's gagutz. But anyhow, but it's been many years since I have eaten it. My neighbor gave me four large ones, and I'm not sure how to cook them. I've done searches online to find a recipe, and I've had no luck. Any suggestions, says Lori? Oh, have we got suggestions for you, Lori? Gagutza. We love Gagutza. And uh, actually, I was driving today in Manhattan on 6th Avenue and called my assistant, Michelle, and said, Michelle, I just saw a Gagutza on 6th Avenue. Can you believe it? They're not hard to, uh, to spot because they're very, very, they're green in color and they get very, very long, uh, as long as a baseball bat. Most of the time before that happens, they'll start curving at the ends like that. Um, in Sicily, the Sicilians love gaguts. They usually cook it, slice it, and cook it in a tomato sauce or a red gravy. Uh, also, a lot of Italians like to... Uh, to cut them and then cut them in half and scrape out the insides, cook it down with a great stuffing, stuff it back inside the gagouts, and then bake it in the oven with a little Parmesan Reggiano cheese. Absolutely fantastic. One of my favorite ways uh, to, to do gagouts, Lori, is to simply fry them uh, in a little oil, uh, like a canola oil. You bread them and fry them like, like a zucchini, and they're absolutely delicious. So I hope this uh, helps you, and uh, I hope you keep eating gagutsa.